All right, I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of this plug in here. Um, I got some buttons down here. Um, uh, when I release it, uh, I might have it changed up. So this is kind of a little sneak peek here. And for this work, you must have UVs assigned. And the best thing to sign it with is the UV master because you can use uh, great UVs and put the seams where you want them and have UV islands. So you might need to download this plugin. Okay. Uh, with that said, um, there's a new option over here called under the UV maps, uh, morphed UVs. All right, and we're going to be using polypenny. Um, there's a problem with this. I mean, it works fine, but you can't paint it when it's flat. As a demonstration, okay, it's the original here, and I morphed it. All right, you can see it still kept the color, and I'll bring it back down to show you. Now, when it's flat like this and I start painting on it, I will lose all the color. So, once I press Morph UV, all the color is gone. And it doesn't stick with it. Alright. And uh, a lot of times, this you can see where you want. Sometimes you can, uh, when it's flattened out like this, you can get really behind the crease or inside the mouth really good. I'm a lot better than you can when it's like this, okay? Okay, this is where this plugin comes in handy, all right? But right now, we're going to hide the uh, teeth and eyes here. All right, and I want to kind of get inside the mouth area right here. All right, I'll put a little bit of, uh, I'll put a little bit of red, or, no, not green. Let's go red here. Let's get it all sized down here. Kind of right in this area right here. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and press number one. Alright. Now remember this is flattened out. So when I paint inside the area. Now remember it's flattened out. The other way when I morphed it back it lost all the color. So when I press it back here. You can see it still kept its color. And you can also um, you can uh, set, set up UVs for both of these uh, sub tools. So let's say I was to uh, start number one here, and you can turn on polyframes if you need to see where you're going to paint. Let's say, hey, where's the ears at? I know they're right here, so I'm going to paint a little green here. And let's say, uh, hey, I want to paint on the teeth and stuff here. So I'll activate that layer here. And uh, we don't need polyframe for that. And I'll press number one for this also. And this is going to morph. And I can pick out some colors for these right here and start painting on these. All right. Paint here. Here. And let's switch the color. And since it's on its own layer, I won't be able to, it won't paint on the head. Give me a little bit of time here. As you can see, it will spew a little bit over here down at the bottom here, so fix that just bring this up here and we'll just paint a little bit here all right now when we're done we'll morph that back we'll switch to this layer press 2 morph that back and I can clean up a little bit around the mouth area that's not a problem here up here You can see how it got all the way around the ears real good. Alright, I'm going to load up the uh, Rhino here. And he's got UV set to him also. And we turn on polyframes. As you can see, I'll flatten him out. And he's got UV islands. 
so I can uh, kind of visualize see that little toenails down here and sometimes them are harder to paint when he's uh, when he's together like that so when the when you got to flatten it out it makes it a lot easier so I'll just give you a small demonstration here they are pretty small toenails down here and I'll do just a couple of them and let's make them a little bit dark blue here I'm sure some of these up here are some of those toenails too but alrighty trying to jump around on me I gotta be right on the button on that one there Let's have to zoom in a little bit. And if you spew over on the other color there, just drag the picker here, drag over here, and we're going to erase some of that color that I kind of messed up. And when we're done, press number two. And you can see the little toenails. As you can see, I kind of spewed up here, so not a problem. Just erase that right there. And it gets right on the toe. Now, there's a couple I missed, and that's not a problem. I was just giving you a small example. And like I said, when it's flattened out, you can you can see what's happening. And uh, let's go ahead and do one more. All right, for the sake of it. Let's bring this guy back. Like, let's say I wanted to uh, get the horn here. All right. This is going to give me a visualized kind of where it's at, all right? Because sometimes when I'm flattening out, I can't, sometimes it's kind of impossible or just hard to distinguish what part of the UV island it's at. So when I got a little bit of paint on here, I can see it. it's in this area here, so I can finish painting it right here. I'm done. Press here. Say I need to go a little bit more. Not a problem. And it works like that. I'm going to clean this up a little bit right here. Uh, he's not... I don't have him subdivided very much so that's why he's a little so I'm having a little problem right here I should have subdivided him a little bit more when I'm poly pinning that's good enough and perfect um should be having this plug-in released fairly soon thank you very much